and action. What's poppin' Calisthenics fam? My name is Brenda Myers and today I actually wanted to talk about something that, man, I see it left and right over the internet. I see the messages coming in. You know, I don't need to train abs because I have fat over my stomach or you shouldn't be training abs because you have so much fat over, listen, it doesn't matter what body fat percentage you are, it doesn't matter if you have a small amount of fat over those abs and you can't really see them, you should be working your core, your abdominal muscles and when I'm talking about abdominal muscles, all of them. All of them, your rectus abdominis, your transverse abdominis, your internal obliques, your external obliques. Isn't that right, Josh? That's right. Yes. You need to be working your abdominal muscles, your core muscles, even your rectus spinae coming down your spine, okay? even your QLs on each side, your lower back. You should be working everything, every muscle in your body. You got to think about it. When you get up in the morning, how do you get up? Well, a lot of your abs and your core muscles are engaged in that specific movement when you're walking really fast, when you're running. So, if you have weaker abs, if you have weaker core, what will that mean? Well, if you're in the gym and you're training with weights, you're not gonna be able to lift as much. If you are only doing body weight training and you're at the beach or maybe you're at the park and you're training, going through specific movements, you're not gonna be able to do as high intensity exercises because you can't stabilize in those positions. So my suggestion for you is you're going to be burning calories no matter what when you're training. But if you're able to do those higher intensity exercises, this will burn more calories, which means, well, what does that mean? Well, you'll burn more fat. Remember, caloric deficit is where you need to be. You see how we just exchanged that, like the camera movement? Now I'm walking backwards, what are you gonna do now? <laughs> but you need to listen, train your abs. And I'm actually gonna drop down right now and give you an exercise you could be doing right now. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're in your room, it doesn't matter if you're at the park, wherever, even at your business, tell, go tell your the CEO of your company to come out right now and do this exercise with you. Get the whole crew around you to do this. It's very, very simple. This one exercise is incredible pretty much for every part of your core and your ab muscles. Let this guy walk through. I know there's somebody coming behind me. He's gonna just snatch the camera and run. So when we come down, okay, let's let's go over here. Come on, let's go over here. I'm gonna show you. Anybody, if you wanna rent an apartment for rent. <laughs> so we're just gonna come down right here, ready? And check this out. All you're gonna do is the most simple exercise that you could be doing, okay? You're gonna go on your back. Oh my gosh, everything's dropping everywhere. You're gonna go on your back. You're gonna tuck in that chin right here, just a bit off of the ground. And what this is gonna do is really work those muscles in your neck. I mean, why not work them at the same time as building a strong core, okay? Remember keeping that lower back down flat, all right? And all you're gonna do, bring your, your feet up a little bit. Moving. Moving, go, moving, go, go. Come, on. look at this. To kill my vibes. To kill, kill my vibes. All right, now we're gonna drop down again. They probably did that on purpose because we were filming in front of the house. But you're gonna come down here, okay? Again, knees are up here, keeping that lower back on the ground, keeping that chin tucked here. And all you're going to do is drop down those feet to the ground right before they touch and come right back up. And the higher up your feet are, the further they're gonna come down. And remember, tightening up everything. This is really going to work your core crazy. You don't trust me, try it for yourself. And you're really gonna be doing like 20 repetitions. They get you to do three to four sets of this. And pretty much, you know, that's one of the exercises you could be doing to work your abdominal muscles. Now, don't give in to all of these myths on the internet. This is extremely important to understand. It doesn't matter like what ab exercise you're doing, you know, just build it, just working on your abs isn't going to burn fat off, right? That, that's number one. It's not just gonna burn the fat off. It really does come down to your diet and that's what you need to focus on. But if you strengthen all the muscles all over your body, you keep up with muscular endurance, hypertrophy, you know, building size of your muscles, your strength and your power, this will all translate into overall body development, exactly what you want. So stop making the excuses, get it done, don't just say, hey, I, I shouldn't be doing ab workouts. And, and just like, just work. Just work, stay consistent, and you'll get the body you want. So hopefully this uh, clarifies a lot of information that I've been seeing on the internet. Um, I do have some awesome things coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Much love. 
keep on grinding. If you have any questions you need answered or, or anything, I'm on Snapchat, I'm on Instagram, I'm all over all these social medias. Check it out in the description. I got your back. Let's keep on grinding. Love you, fam. Talk soon. Peace.